Moving back to the oscillator section, you'll notice we skipped the shape modulation parameter. This allows you to actually modulate the shape of your waveform. Okay, so we can use two things to modulate that shape. We can use our LFO, which we've already set, and we can use our filter envelope, which we just set. Okay, so let's kind of see uh, some of the differences between uh, having our LFO modulate our actual waveform and our filter envelope doing the same thing. Okay, so I didn't notice too much of an impact uh, with the LFO modulating things. We are using a square wave to do that, so it's not going to be as sweeping uh, of an effect, so it's not going to be as noticeable in that way. But when we did go over to the filter envelope side of things, we did start to hear uh, that same kind of pulsing that we were getting from our filter sweep from our filter envelope. I was starting to hear that in changing our actual oscillator waveform. Something similar can be seen in the filter section of the plugin. We have this uh, filter FM setting here, and this has everything to do with modulating our cutoff frequency again, okay, of our filter. If we move to the left, we're going to be introducing a static sine wave, okay? The static sine wave that we're generating with oscillator 1 is going to be used to modulate our cutoff frequency. So this is going to be very cyclical, just like the sine wave is in its static form. So listen to what happens when we increase our modulation in that direction. That's a very smooth cutoff modulation. Okay, you'll notice that we're just entering into that higher frequency zone, coming back out of it, very pulsing, smooth way. Now if we go the other end of things and we take the envelope form of modulation, again, we're gonna see the sweeping effect of that envelope start to modulate this cutoff frequency, and it's gonna be a lot more of a ramped effect to those higher frequencies. Take a listen. That's going to resemble something like a wah pedal, basically. Okay, you're very quickly ramping up to a certain point of frequency. Finally, our last parameter is also in the filter section of the plugin, and that is this filter envelope modulation knob. Okay, now all of these three knobs, they're all affecting the strength of modulation of our cutoff frequency. So that's important to take note of. But the envelope knob is specifically using this filter envelope down here as a means to modulate the cutoff frequency. Okay, so again, it's gonna provide a somewhat sweeping effect. So as we turn this knob to the right, we're gonna get more noticeable sweeping. And as we bring it down, you're actually gonna notice we're actually gonna get darker tones, less frequency incorporated, because we're never reaching that high point at that point. We're never reaching that uh, high point of the filter envelope to incorporate more high frequencies. So take a listen to the difference in sound. And that is it for the analog portion of this plugin. So I hope you found it very informative. I hope you walked away with a better understanding of a lot of these very common terms and very common parameters that you're gonna see across a lot of different synth plugins, even here in Logic. If you wanna check out some of my other in-depth content, please check out my channel and subscribe if you wanna get uh, notices of future uploads. You can comment down below if you have any questions that I didn't answer. Uh, I feel like I went in depth into a lot of portions of this. Uh, but of course, you might just want to hear it a different way uh, to understand it so I completely understand and would love to clear those things up. I'll go ahead and play us out uh, using the synth pad that we made today, starting with just a very basic waveform. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a listen. <laughs>